here's the problem. How how young? Like 12, 13, 15, 16, the old children. Addicted, hey, Ali. Addicted to drugs? Addicted to drugs? Yes. Like what and, kind of drugs? And, and even the, the drug dealer is a drug Like I saw him once. They even sell Viagra in the camp for the kids. So yes. Welcome back to Nearly by Nature. Today we are going on a little trip to visit a refugee camp here in Palestine. It is called Camp Number One, and I'm just going to be taking you guys on the journey with me. So here we go. <laughs> And the old Middle East was the first one. Actually, I, I used to live in this area. Used to live in this area? Yes, I remember this place. But it was like 20, 24 years ago when we... This is the house. This house. I used to live in this house. Ah. But it was one place. Now it's smaller. This was all camped up in 1984, right? Yes. The tents and everything? Yes. But it wasn't like cement. It was like... Uh, like a tent? Yes. A tent. It's a hard. We have one to give money here. This is his house and they shoot him here in the street. They shoot him right here? Why? The For no reason. They just want... Walking around trying to find uh, to hunt the Palestinian who had guns. So he was on the street, so they shoot him. Did he have any guns? No. How old was he? He was 15 when they killed him. Does the camps get any funding? No. There's no funding. It was before, like the UN, mm -hmm. like they have a clinic. Mm -hmm. They still have it, but not like it was before. Mm -hmm. So it's. So there's no funding at all here? No. So no one to pick up garbage? They do from the UN, uh -huh. but it's not like much. It's not like it should be. But in the winter, the, the things get really, really bad. Like most of these, the water like, like over here. So people couldn't really work. This street has a lot of people by Israelis because they are democratic. Uh, in this street, a yes. lot of people die. Yes. You see a lot of coaches. Yeah. So it's like a hunting And they're all siblings. They're all they're siblings. siblings. Yeah. This is all the same thing, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. So they are pretty much at hunting. So the UN no longer supports this area? They do, but not like before. They support the area, but with, with 
really the basic thing. Like before they was giving to them every two months like the grocery and food like rice, sugar, oil, this kind of thing for everyone who lives in the camp. But now it's a stop. Why did it stop? I have no idea. I guess because the US start seeing Palestinian as a terrorist. Oh my god, focusing. <laughs> this these are not camps either, right? No no no, it's not camps. These people was really upset because the, the camp happened. So they tried to get the people out of this because it brought the value down. Did it change? I once the camp was built, it changed the area. Yes, a lot. Like the apartment here was really exp expensive with that before the camp, and now like who want to live next to the camp? Yeah. Is Everything. there a lot of crime that happens here? Crimes? Yeah. A lot of crimes. Like, like people get robbed. And... Before, yes, but now it's like. Not as much. Not as much. Well, now, like, drugs. Drugs. Is there high drug addiction happening? I guess. Yes. And they are all children. It's children. It's children. Here's the problem. They are how, how young? Like, 12, 13, 15, 16. They're all children. Addicted to drugs? Yes. Uh, even the drug dealers are a child. Like, I saw him once. They even sell Viagra in the camp for the kids. <gasps> so yes. So you get things like cocaine yeah. and things like that. And how are they bringing these drugs in? What do you think is the biggest issue for people in the camp? The drugs. The drugs? Yes. More than like their living situation is becoming the drugs. And actually, yes, the living situation. Like the kids have no place to play, no place to do anything, so they go immediately for drugs or liquor. Like you can see 15 years old the kids drunk in the street. So and, and it's is, mostly because of their environment that they feel they feel stuck. Like they can't go anywhere. And because they are poor, so they can't afford to go to playing a place. The families that were displaced here before the Nakba were they like good like were they some of them was really rich like some of them were really rich yes, when you look at the family's name and you go back to Palestine paper uh -huh. you will find a huge family has lots of land lots of houses like lots of money so so when the nakba happened and they were like displaced the Israeli government or the UN US didn't give them any money for the land <laughs> so all their Furniture and money. All these people thinking they will be back to their land soon enough. Like, they have waiting. hope. Yes. You see the Star of David? Oh, the Star? Yeah, so the Star of David. So, probably the Star of David that the Israeli military, when they're walking around, probably they did it. To make people upset. Is this considered one of the worst camps? The most poor. Is it difficult for people to make it out of these types of camps? Uh, many people like walk really hard and leave the camp, but people still, the other people are still stuck in the camp. Why do you think um, keeps people stuck here? Because people are still like, living in this hole for Palestine to be back to them. Like Yaka and Eka will be back. As soon as they still in the camp, like like the world will never forget. There are going to be Palestinians waiting their land to be back to them. Like I know some woman who was like eighty something when she died, and she was like, I will I will die here. Her children buy a house outside of the camp, but she refused to leave because she because if she left, she wanted to get back to her house in Yaffa, not in another house in Nablus. So people are still thinking one day they will be back. So These are other pictures of young boys who were shot. Yes. He, he looks so young. 
How many friends would you say you have that died by Israeli forces? Four. Do you feel like at some point you just become numb to it? Yes, of course. Every single day. Any other women? One of them was a woman. What were their reasonings for killing? Uh, we were in the checkpoints. And you were there? Yes. You were there and you watched your friend die? Yes. She's asking? They asked me, do you speak Arabic? <laughs> I'm here. I thought you are Arabic. 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 So. The woman who uh, we're going to give this last name, so she, her husband died? Yeah. How? Still born for me. Ah. And she has six children. Six children. And they still in the schools. The oldest one is 16. So she they help her? What? Is he able to help? The one who was 16, no, he's an asshole and he was a drug dealer and the police got him. And now she's trying to find a lawyer for free for him because she can't pay it. And she's, I guess she was cleaning, uh, Salam Alaikum. She was cleaning houses so she can live with her children. And my dad told me she fell in the stairs, so now she has a problem with her leg. They start asking other people to help them eat. And the good thing is here, like, all people, people know knows each other, so they help each other a lot. Yeah, I was surprised because you really don't see too many homeless people. Like, at least not in Navas. People are also like, uh, ashamed, right? I feel that. Like, two, two people, when we give them the money, they was like, no. Did you see the other woman, the younger one? She was like, embarrassed to take the money and like I closed the door I give her the money and I closed the door she was like embarrassed to take them she finished master and philosophy with me the one we went through. and she get really sick and her mom passed away and she went alone now and she has no work okay. and she almost lost her life no father no siblings 